thank you for letting me completely interrupt your conversation. Yeah, not a problem. Because my wife is not here to control me, so I'm sorry, guys. Not a problem. Is this a battery powered one? Well, okay, what's the blue thing? I was just driving down the road when I looked over to my right and all of a sudden I seen all of these banners and they had all of these different equipment manufacturers that I actually recognized. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? There's not supposed to be an event that I've heard of. And so I pulled over and I went in and I found that they were hosting an event that was designed specifically for municipalities. So a lot of the equipment that we're gonna see is not stuff that we typical lawn care guys get to usually see or use, but some of the bigger companies are using it. Some of it is really cool and cutting edge. So we're gonna go in and check it out. All right guys, we're at the Cub Cadet booth and we're gonna check out this brand new seat. So they've got the seat that swivels 15 degrees. The mower is rated for a 25 degree hill. The seat will compensate 15 degrees. So you know that feeling you get where you're, you're holding on with your butt cheeks? You have a little less of that with this seat. And Tim's gonna bring it out onto the hill, out in the back, and we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see how that seat works. So this is the dual rear wheel, Pro Z 900. And this seat is a new addition. So you can see right there. Wiggle the seat a little bit. I want to kind of see how, so that flows pretty good, doesn't it? And that seat swivels 15 degrees. Yep, mower's rated for 25. Mower's rated for 25, yep. seat swivels 15, so you feel that much less of the actual slope. Right now, this is about 20, and I feel like I'm just straight and flat. There you go. You see that? See him turn right here right here this is his turning point so one of the cool things about these cub cadets their wheels actually auto reverse rotate so as you're turning the outside wheels are making the turn the inside wheels are reverse spinning it's actually a pretty cool uh, check this out these are sold out across the country it's the Kubota SCL 1000 in fact this one is one of the only ones that's available to rent right now. And what I've learned is a lot of guys are really liking these tree guys because all of the hoses are actually enclosed inside of the arm. So you, you're not getting branches ripping and tearing hoses. You're not getting all it. And this will run a forestry head. Not a big one. Not the kind you and I are used to, but it will run one. better get on a waiting list but here's a new one by Kubota and I found out that Kubota actually bought and I don't know if this is 100% accurate Subaru and this runs a Subaru engine because I popped this open and I'm like what kind of engine does a, this Kubota AT, UTV run and he's like a Subaru and I was just joking you know and I'm like, what <sighs> but they rebranded it Kubota and they bought out the Subaru factory and they're retooling it and Kubota is actually going to be switching over Subaru to Kubota. Kind of cool, right? Is this a battery powered one? Right. right. They actually have it out now and it works? Yep. Like it's it's something that a guy could buy and put to put to right. use. Absolutely. One. Okay, so it's got looks like it's got one, two, 
three motors controlling each one of the blades. Four, four batteries. Probably two motors for each one of the wheels in the back. Right. It's got four separate batteries in the back. Okay, what else can you tell me about it? Um, it sells for just under 25,000 bucks. Mm, okay. It, run, it runs four and a half hours. Two batteries will run it. Okay, okay, right. okay, good. Then now I'm clear on it. Thank right. you, thank you. And so it's got five motors total, one on each wheel, one on each one of the blades. Fusion core technology. Uh, how do you charge it? And how long does it take? Your, just charge overnight. Overnight? Right. And it'll charge all the batteries simultaneously? Right. Got a charger there. I see. Got a charger in my pickup right now. And is that a 110? It'll plug into a 110 outlet? Yes. Okay. Yep. And then you got your control panel here. Which I don't see it's on. Your deck height is here. Right. So that is that's available now. I didn't right. know they had this out yet. Right, right. We, we have it on a state contract right now. Huh. All right. Are you gonna fly that? Uh, yeah, I can throw it up. Here. What, what what is this for? I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you guys? No, I no. did. No. And I just felt like I could because I have this camera. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I I totally apologize. Can you no, just no. tell me what this does real quick, and I'll it's get out of here. It's a drone that does spray applications, and we will uh, set this up. And is there liquid in it? Yep. There's about half. We'll, we'll go you, ahead. You guys are very lucky. My dad has already passed away because he was a crop duster, and he would oh. come out and be pretty torqued if he saw this. Thing. <laughs> they took our jobs. I think that's probably something he would be thinking. <laughs> yeah, it definitely follows in those uh, lines of, uh, yeah, of historical traditions, you know. It's it's a way that other people can do some of the same work. All right. Are you taking it up, Andrew? Yeah. Awesome. And there it goes. Crop dusting. That is freaking amazing. Oh my God. That is insane. How much do you think a drone like that goes for? And I wonder how long the battery lasts. Uh, it depends upon a lot of factors, you know, what speed you're going, um, you know, what you're spraying for, how much you're spraying. Um, we got about 10 minutes or so on a battery. It's pretty short. Okay. How much does this unit go for? Um, DJI sells the drone for, I think, like 25 to 30 grand. And that's not surprising. Um, yeah. And then the outfit, you guys outfit it. Uh, yep. Uh, we're Frost Inc., right? Yeah, we're using no, a company um, called Rantizo. They provided a lot of the, biggest, uh, the boom extensions uh, and the upgrade kit for the drone itself. Okay, and how much does the upgrade kit normally run? Um, like, what does a unit like that co cost out of the box, if I wanted to take it's old? I think it's like 30, 35. 30, 35, not bad. Thank you, sir. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Well, okay, what's the blue thing? What is the blue thing? Is that for bailing hay? Did I just make myself sound really stupid? I did. There's one I'm a yeah. subscriber. I just wanted to meet you. Say oh, hi. hey. <laughs> nice to meet you, Bert. Nice to meet you, man. What do you do? I work for uh, Edenbury School in the grounds department. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is this, this is all stuff that you're familiar with using? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm just getting ideas for this year, and then there's obviously no snow stuff here, so that'll be the next yeah. show we go to. SEMA's coming to Minnesota, I believe. Like two weeks, I think. It's yeah. around here. Yeah. 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 So you're going to be at that one? Uh, yeah, we'll be at that one. All right. So. Well, then I'll see you twice. You know what we're going to do? We're going to let you guys answer that one. So if you guys want to know what those are, look in the comments down below. There's going to be like three of you that got that dialed in and know exactly what those are. Hi guys. Good. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you guys. I'm just looking. What are we? What are we looking at here, guys? An aerator? Yeah. A plug? 
Okay. Well, yeah, I'm guessing you'll be out. You can you walk me through it? John the man, Ken. Okay. He's our expert. John the man. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Good. What's your name? Stan. Stan. Hey. Uh, so, so do, right will you just walk me through how this one operates, John? Then, yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's uh, uh, brand new to Lesko this year. Actually, we got it about a couple weeks ago. Um, one, it's a Vanguard, so it's a Briggs and Stratton. So motor. just a site one. Team. Um, yeah. uh, Stinger actually is a new manufacturer. Oh, yeah. well, Stinger makes this, uh, yes. so it's got separate drums on each one of the connected yeah. to each one of the wheels. Uh, then, okay. Yeah. So, so what I'm talking about is underneath here, they separate. Yep, they separate the blades right here, so you can see as when so when you're going through a turn you're not tearing right when you go through a turn yeah, you're not right tearing up all the right. turf not, right yeah very, mm -hmm. yeah you're very mm -hmm. well turn yeah exactly okay. so um cedar wise i mean you can put down um you know obviously little is you know a pound per thousand up to 10 pounds per thousand when it comes to it so you've got your um, adjustment inside. So you can use seed in this, you can use a soil amendment like our Carbon Pro G um, that, that can be put onto it. So at the same time, if needed be, um, it's got rates for different types of seed, tall fescue to fine fescue to bluegrass, which is mostly here, mostly here in Minnesota. Um, you can control it custom wise or auto automatic. You control can control your tine pressure. <laughs> yep. Yep. Like, wow, Absolutely. Like <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're up and down. Um, travel mode. I mean, this thing flies though. It moves really yeah. quick. Um, but a lot of popularity behind these this year because in the last two years, with manufacturing wise, I mean, these are extremely popular just because of the you know the shortage in, in equipment in general. But um, uh, these you couldn't get these last fall essentially. Is so, um, but. It's a 30 inch, um, they make a 36 as well, the bigger one. Oh. So I didn't have to crawl under on my belly. You could have told me that before. <laughs> I'm all over that. I'll let that guy crawl through the dirt. Why not? <laughs> oh, dude. So they got it. Come. So these are locked to the wheels. This flows separately, flows separately, locked to the wheel. Yep. Hmm. That's nice. Inside cool. tines are not tearing up in that tight turn you're talking about. Right. Yep. Well, what does a unit like this go for? Uh, 13 5. That's not bad because, no, I mean, not. for some of these guys that want to do an add on service to a, a yep. lawn care company, yep. for 13 5, you now have a complete separate division of yeah. aeration and overseeding all at once. Yep. You can set it down, set your seed flows, boom, go into a yard. 25 30 minutes what it takes you to mow it and you'd make 35 bucks you run this over it and you got 150 bucks because that's about what you charge three times four or five times more than you would for a mow startup deal mechanical brake yeah hit that brake for me would one of you guys it does the tires right there mm -hmm. my hustler mower does that yeah my guy's were like, do you like that? And I'm like, yeah, I like that. I can actually see the brake is on. I'm just, and if it, something goes wrong, I can see what goes wrong with the brake. It's simple. Yeah, it's simple. God, give me simple. I want to make a living. I don't want to be impressed by technology. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Back when we were crop dusting, we were using a truck, pickup truck with a spray rig on the back, and then we had an egg cat biplane. Looks like they've got, uh, looks like a Kubota. Is this a Kubota? RTX 11, yeah, Kubota. Just cause it's orange doesn't mean it's Kubota. They got that completely outfitted with a spray rig. Oh, now we're getting into the big dogs. Yeah, But like all the stuff that you can still mow once you get it on the ground, you know, you can still mow. So, are each of the decks individual? No. No. So, you're all on or all off? Yep, they do have a version that... All on or all off. Uh, so, you, it's not controllable. PTO mounted. So if you take a look underneath here, the nice thing is that... Hey, can I, can I look under there with you guys? Sure. Okay. As I trip over ropes and wires? Not much in there, but I guess what you're looking at in here is it's got pretty solid cast spindles, you know, which make it a good mower. And also, you don't get that grass residue. 
you know, like a lot of full-time mowers, they always have the residue up here. So then you got a hot bearing. <laughs> What, what does this do? Field layouts. Ball field layouts? Ball field layouts yeah. before construction begins? Well. Or after? Or what are we looking at? So if he's got a, if he's got a, we're just going to do the lacrosse fan here. This is a girls lacrosse fan. Okay. So if you're laying out striping fields. Oh, striping. Striping fields, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's like that commercial where the guy daydreams and goes all yeah, over exactly. the road. Yeah, exactly. So we case, don't, we're not that guy. We're not that guy. <laughs> we're not that yep. guy. The spring tine in the front loosens up the rubber crumbles, right? Yes. And, the, and so then then it can groom it down, but that also allows the, any metal, bobby pins, hairpins, anything to come to the surface so that the magnetic bar in the back can pick that up. Absolutely. So when the athletes are out there and they fall down, they're not having somebody's earring gouge into their cheek exactly. or something like that happen. Exactly. Okay. Makes yeah, it's, it's really amazing what, you know, what's actually sitting out there. Now, is this a bend track? Unit or is this a different company that makes this? Nope, this is a Toro product. It's a Toro of our product. bullseye line of products, which are the new suite of products that we have here. Okay. So this, it, it's not exactly a flail mower. If you would to take off this cover, um, you're going to see it's more like a big hedge trimmer. Okay. Right. So. It's, but it's a ditch mower, right? I mean, you can put this, you can wing this you right can. down into a ditch and get that arm down there yep. and the operator's safe up on top. Exactly, right? So if you're doing, you know, even pond edges, you want to reach mm -hmm. out and get cattails and things like that. Um, also, if you've got hedges, right, you're trimming, right, you could uh, basically set that thing up and just drive straight down that line. Mm -hmm. um, and even their attachments, you guys, look at this, chain driven right here, right? Very simple. And... I've actually broken down, Larry, uh, some of these guys may know this, I've broken down out in the middle of woods, I mean way out there with a pair of pliers and my nose pickers and that's the only tools I got to work with. And I've been able to get a Ventrac back in operation. Got it. Yeah, I love, I love the entire layout and design, even the things, even like little things like this, look, color coded. Right. Ventrac puts a lot of little thoughts into their design and they don't overcomplicate them is my two cents on this machine. So this next one, I'm thinking a lot of you guys may not have seen before, and you're gonna be a little bit confused as to what it actually is. It looks like a stand-on mower, but it's actually a tool carrier designed for grading. And specifically, it's designed to really fine-tune and grade ball fields for municipalities. But it has a lot of different options and I just thought, man, some of the, this might help some of you guys, especially if you have horse farms and you got to grade out riding arenas and things like that. So let's just show you what it is. Did you guys, does ABI actually make the entire unit or did they buy this from okay. somebody else and outfit it? We make it. So do they have engine options with it? No, this is our standard engine with it. Um, I think at one point they want to... You can't get, get it. Bigger one on you can't get it with a Kawasaki or a diesel no, upgrade? guys look for this they could go on our website um, up here in uh, Minnesota now Turfworks is our main dealer up here so. okay but just nationwide nationwide we, we what's your website um, abiattachments.com abiattachments.com okay and I automatically just saw that rake on the back and it made me think of the SR3 that's it. yep that's, that's what we're known for yeah that's what we're known for so yeah you know the nice thing is with this you can back drag with that pretty good um, we do have a scoop that goes on the back. I mean, there's, it's a Swiss Army knife at this point. A right. plow on the front we could do, um, a, a cedar on the front. I mean, it's, it's a, definitely a very, very unique machine. It is. Thank you. No problem, thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Uh, last question. What does a unit like this go for? 
You have to talk to your first. Okay. <laughs> right, let's go find out. I'm gonna get at least nineteen thousand. I just need a ballpark at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing what it costs. I think you could go anywhere from twenty-five to forty, right, TJ? Okay, boy, you can really outfit there's these. A lot, there's just a lot of accessories. Boy, so. you can you can get that specialized, can't yeah. you? Yep. Mm. Sir, All good right. Good well, thank you. you. Appreciate thank it. You. Okay. Well, it was a pretty small event, and at that event, there was a sneak peek that Cub Cadet had at some new technology coming out. But when they saw me there, they ran over and asked me not to show it to you guys. I'm not joking. Is there anything that we can say about the new things that may be coming out? Like, well, I guess what, like what things, Kurt? <laughs> Exciting. Exciting GPS technology. There we go. They wanted the big unveil to be at the GIE, so I'm going to respect that. So, I'm gonna be doing a video at GIE where I show this new technology, plus a lot more stuff. But going back to today's event, what was your favorite, and what the heck was that blue thing? God bless you guys, go get them, and we'll see you on another one.